time. So I'll call to order the meeting of the Ordinance Committee for September 14th, 2015. And make a note that we're being audio and video recorded. And also make a note we are not going to have public comment since we don't have any public. We do have some public. The mayor or the collector would like to make public comment. You're welcome to. Uh, then the minutes were a little further on. So, uh, members present, Council Ryan O'Donnell, Maureen Carney, and I'm Councilor David Murphy. So the first thing we have to deal with tonight is the appointment of Christine Bissell as Treasurer Collector. And it's the Mayor's appointment and he's here to address us. Good evening, Councilors. Um, as you know, um, I uh, submitted an order to you back in early July um, to merge or consolidate the offices of treasurer and collector. Um, and you at your last meeting took a final second reading vote on that. Um, and so the offices have been now effectively merged. And so uh, step two in that process is to appoint a new uh, treasurer collector. Um, and I have put forth the name of Chris Bissell, who currently um, is our city's appointed treasurer uh, or at least, yeah, she, well, I guess so, yeah. I'm mm -hmm. sort of in limbo too because now they've been merged. Um, and she's been acting as our collector. I had appointed her to carry out the responsibilities temporarily um, following the uh, retirement of uh, Lisa Lambert. So um, I have uh, great confidence in Chris. She's uh, already been um, working very hard to, to learn the job and to, um, uh, uh, you know, integrate the work of the treasurer in the collector's office. Um, she had previously served as a treasurer collector in the town of Palmer, which had that same format. Um, and obviously she has a, uh, a, a track record prior to being treasurer and serving as our assistant city treasurer before going to Palmer. And, you know, a lifetime uh, you know, went to school here and born and raised. And uh, so I have great confidence in her. Uh, that this will be a seamless transition as we move forward in this new structure. So with that, um, Chris Bissell. <laughs> Good evening. Welcome back. Oh, thank you. <laughs> do, do you have anything you want to say in particular to us, or do you just want to see if we have any questions? Um, well, I'm just um, I'm pleased um, that the mayor has the confidence in me to, to move forward with my nomination. So I'm quite proud of that and pleased. Any questions? Sure. Councilor? Um, I would just add, I have every confidence in you um, in general. I'm just curious about the, the transition. Sounds like it's already underway. And it, I'd just be it, curious to know if there's any logistical details you'd like to share with us. About it, it, the it, um, it's definitely a lot has become underway in a lot of different ways. We are in the process of right now doing a little reconstruction in the collector's office space to make accommodations for the treasurer's office um, documents and files and um, staff. And uh, we're hoping to have that finished within the next three to four weeks, hopefully. Um, we've been doing some cross training and working on creating efficiencies and um, so so forth. That's true, because I suppose at this point, the treasurer's office was over there, so you bring everybody over here, and there's no better time to make procedural changes than when everything's changing around anyway, so right. it's a good time. Though. And everybody's been very supportive and mm -hmm. positive you know, during the transition, so it's been very helpful. Mm -hmm. uh, Councilor, do you have any questions? Oh, no, just to thank you for all the work that you've been doing so far during this uh, transitional time. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And we, and for folks watching at home, we were involved in interviewing you know, became treasurer. So we did saw you not that long ago when you came back to be treasurer. So uh, I have every confidence too. I've known Chris for a long time. I think she'll do a great job. So thank you. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. With uh, no other questions, somebody want to make a motion? I move a uh, positive recommendation. Yep. Second. Second. All right. Any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Great. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And will this come to the council on Thursday? Thursday. Plan, so it's already noticed on Thursday. Yeah, this is one of the reasons that we, don't, we really wanted to do this tonight, in yes. spite of the fact we lost a public hearing, because we want to get, you know, Excellent. get this done okay. quick. Oh, thank you. All right. Um, and do you, would you, would it be your sense that, uh, do you think that 
Chris would need to be there Thursday, or could I would I be able to represent uh, my appointment to the council? I just don't know. I'd, what's it's, what's um, your recommendation? I, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, we've had. I mean, obviously, fire chief, police chief, we brought forward. I didn't bring the IT director. I didn't bring. You know, I haven't brought other appointments. I haven't. We haven't required other appointments to actually come to the meeting. Well, I don't. This I don't think process. it's necessary for myself. Okay. Um, but I also can't speak for. I know Councilor Barger want to thank you for your service to the city, mm -hmm. but I don't. I don't feel comfortable saying you shouldn't be there. That's at your discretion. Yeah. Okay. Fine. I don't think there's any council rule that requires it. Um, so, and she did appear before your, the appointments committee, and so mm -hmm. anyway, okay. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll talk and figure okay. it out. Yeah. Sure. Just, yeah. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. Have a good night. There's no other ordinance or issues you need me to approve. Okay. Didn't look like it. Great parking stuff. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> parking and mostly reappointments, I think. So thank you. Yep, thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> so our public hearing isn't happening because of, of the holiday. Um, so that's those two things. And uh, we need to do reconsideration of the minutes of June 15th, which was the appointment of Carla Velez to the Human Rights Commission. There was a mistake in that, Pam? There was. I, Councilor Carney um, made the motion, and she seconded it somehow. Impressive. So I had to correct that. OK. Reconsideration or just, well, just, I just remove it as correct. Mm -hmm. I just move it as correct. Right. I think. Right. Well, can I move both minutes together? Yeah. Right. yeah, if you want to, because um, the, the second item is is our minutes of August 10th. So I remove approval of the minutes of June 15th. And the correction August, and August 10th. That's corrected and August 10th. Second. Second. All right. Any more discussion? Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And now we have ordinance uh, 15. Dot 479 pertaining to 24 hour parking. That's from you. Yeah, because these are all from okay. from your committee, right? Yep. Okay. This was an ordinance that was originally brought up by Nancy Forrestal, our parking enforcement officer. Um, currently, this, there's an ordinance on the book that says you can't park for more than 24 hours in any municipal parking lot, but clearly that's not in reality how we administer that. There's plenty of long term parking in the city. Mm -hmm. um, so this this ordinance would strike that and eliminate the prohibition on uh, parking in municipal parking lots for more than 24 hours. Uh, for that reason, additional reasons include you know the fact that the passenger rail is returned to the city and more and more people are going to be parking and, and, and riding, and also just the general direction of you know the parking study, for example, I think wants to get cars off the streets. Maybe, maybe even off residential streets and into lots uh, for long-term parking, to free parking downtown. So mm -hmm. for all those reasons. Mm -hmm. So this is com just completely deleting exactly. uh, 312-49. That's right. And it doesn't have to be replaced by any language. Any questions? No. No? no? Okay. Right. Motion then? Uh, I move positive recommendation. Second. Second. Correct. Right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Um, the next one's also parking on Prospect Street, and this is 15, uh, 15, 15 uh, for Prospect Street, 15, 480. Mm -hmm. you want to, this is from yours as mm -hmm. committee as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, this comes from the Director of Central Services and I guess ultimately the Mayor's Office. Um, this is a spot that is next to the Survival Center on Prospect Street. And Basically, it's right in the driveway, and if there's a car parked there, then large vehicles that make, make the deliveries, course. yeah, they have to pull essentially out into the other lane. Um, so there's a hazard there. And through the director of central services, my understanding is the director of the survival center, Heidi Norton Smith, does not have a problem with removing a spot. So mm -hmm. that's what this ordinance would do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and th those spots are just, it's an on-street space, but it's not like a marked space or a metered space or anything, right? So we're just... You no, know, this is a picture. Yeah. yeah. So it's just like... That's exactly right. Yeah, no parking here to corner or driveway. And there's a driveway right after it, so exactly. I'm assuming they just wouldn't have any parking between the driveways. Yeah, yeah. it's just for visibility and yeah. maneuverability. Good. So, All right, so any I, motion? I move a positive recommendation. Second. Okay, any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. 
Uh, and now we have one of uh, 15481 pertaining to parking at the Northampton Senior Center. And this, the need for more handicapped parking spaces was brought to our attention by the director of the uh, Senior Center, Patty Shaughnessy. Um, currently, there's, again, there's a map on the other side. Currently, there are four. And Ms. Shaughnessy requested that originally, I think, something more like six or eight additional spaces, but the commission was wary of the needs of those who may not be handicapped but still need to park close to the building, and so we decided three would be a reasonable number to add to the senior center parking lot for the time being. And as you can see, the handicapped parking spaces are larger than standard spaces, mm -hmm. and so if you take four standard spaces, it gives you three. Okay. So and, this does. And which of the three that are being added? Uh, three, yeah. Yeah. In the middle aisle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And in fact, it's also codifying the existing four spaces which weren't in the code. Oh, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And, uh, and that's all. And the only thing I would I would like to, as a friendly technical amendment, um, in the second second column of the second row, it says on the northwestern side of the center aisle, but I oh. think it should say the northwesterly side to make it like all the other. Right. Yeah. Are you good with that? I see the pen moving. I think she's. I think she's got it. No, any, any, more, any more questions on this one? Yeah. No. So I move motion. positive approval as amended. And second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Okay. And then we've got. I think these next two were from the public hearing, were they not? I think these zoning things were are bounced to us after the public yes. hearing. Yes. So we can't do those. Um, so we're now flipping over to approval of committee people <clears throat> and um, uh, the first cup the first three are reappointments John O'Masta of West Farms Road to the Agricultural Commission a term from this year until 2018 Central Business Architectural Committee Joseph Blumenthal who is a reappointment from this year until 2018 and uh, Human Rights Commission Jordiana Amato from Fox Farms Road from this year until 2018. And those are three reappointments. Does anyone have any questions about those? I know um, John O'Masta, and I know Joe Blumenthal. In fact, he's an original member of the Architecture Committee. He's been there ever since it's been around and does an excellent job. Um, does I, that have any issues? I have no issues at all with those. Okay. No, no issues. Will you move to whom as a group, those three? I'll move them as a group. Second. That. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And then, uh, is that our very own Lori Lozell? Am I reading that name right? Yes. My yes. goodness. Grant Avenue. She wants to go uh, Human Rights Commission, new Human Rights Commission member. From 2015 to 2017, a, a appoint me to fill a vacancy. And I, I think we all know Lori. Yeah. Maybe we should interview her just for the sake of having her. She's interviewed us. She's interviewed us, so we can interview her. Now, you got a motion? I, I move a positive recommendation. Yeah, that's no second. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, and then, to transportation and parking, um, Ann Brooks, 20 Bridge Road, Unit 1, which is Bear Hill, so I'm assuming a, perhaps a retired person, from present until 2017 and this would she would actually be the planning board's representative to that committee to replace Devin Bruce and uh, Devin didn't want to come back is it I think she's very busy she's, she's very busy chair now. Oh, that's right. she's what chair of the planning board so. oh excellent yeah. excellent I we haven't seen them for a while so uh, oh that's that's great and this is um, one of those appointments that uh, is part of the composition of the committee. You know, the planning board rep is wherever the planning board sends us. So it's not like we really need to interview them because that's who they want to have come. And we already appointed her to the planning board, so I assume we like her. And I would also, she's also been appointed to the bicycle and pedestrian subcommittee. Mm -hmm. And she also serves on the um, committee on economic, community development, housing, and land use as a non voting member. So. Oh, excellent. So we know her well. Yes. Okay. So you want to make a motion on uh, So I'm happy to make a motion for us. I'll second. Good. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, and now appointments to the Community Preservation Committee. 
Um, this would be a new appointment to Jack Finn of 57B King Street, Northampton from June 15 until 2018. That's a new appointment. And David Drake of 321 Locust Street, Northampton uh, from 15 until 18 to the Historical Commission. And these are uh, two new appointments. Um, I think most of us know Jack Finn from his involvement in the business community. Um, and, uh, and then Historic Commission David, David Drake. Do, do you have any desire to interview either of these two, two people? No. Unless some, can, can, someone, can someone speak to Mr. Drake, who I don't know? I can't speak to Mr. Drake myself, or at least I don't think I can. Oh, he's a reappointment, though. Yes. Yeah, so he's been there. And also the representative of, of the historical commission, so mm -hmm. similar to. To uh, yeah. All right. So then we don't, we wouldn't uh, we wouldn't need to act on that one since it's their choice who they send over there. Yeah. In which case, a motion. I'll move them as a group. Okay. Second. All in favor? Aye. Great. Thank you. And Parks and Recreation Commission. Carol Bertrand, Hastings Heights, Florence, term from uh, 2015 to 2018. She's a reappointment. Dave Cronin, Pioneer Knowles, from 15 to 18. He's a reappointment. Uh, Kristen Darnato. It's 15 to 16. He's 15 to, oh, 15 to 16. All right. So we get some new glasses. <laughs> 15 to 16. Uh, Karen. Um, is a new appointment to fill the unexpired speed of Yvonne Keefe. She would go from 15 to 18. Mm -hmm. Tom Dumphy of Chesterfield Road in Leeds, 15 to 17. He's a reappointment. Mike Laga of Center Court. He would be there 15 to 17. He's a reappointment. And Dan Smith of West Hampton, or West Hampton Road, Leeds, from 15 to 17. He's a reappointment. So the only... Yeah. 17, 15 to 17. He's a reappointment. So the only, um, the new person would be Kristen, who is uh, going to fill Yvonne Keefe's uh, term. Can I ask a point of clarification, mm -hmm. maybe maybe to our, our administrative assistant? Is Tom Dumphy until June 16th? Uh, June, June 17th. It, 16. Says, it says 17 on the agenda. But yeah, 17 is what? That's, that's incorrect. It should be 16. Sorry. Oh, so you're going Dumpy's? by the agenda. I'm going by the, the memo from that. Oh, mayor's okay. Office. And we're going by the agenda. So it's it's okay. so Tom Dumpy's 16. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the only the only new appointment is Kristen. Uh, does anyone have a desire to interview her or talk to her? I don't know her. I defer to. Well, I just say her application seems it's very. Um, hmm complete and I don't feel a need to. Oh. Then a, a motion on them as a group? So moved. Uh, second. Good. Second. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, does anyone have any new business? Motion to adjourn. Oh, 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 Pam has new business. I don't have new business, but I just wanted to ask you about the public hearing that we um, didn't have. Mm -hmm. Do you want to just wait until the next meeting? How do you want to proceed with it? Um, yeah. I never could find Carolyn to to go over the stuff with her. Um, perhaps what I'll do, because once the planning board comes around, not this Thursday, but the next, right? Right, they're meeting on the 24th. So we would have the option just to... Are, are, would you be available on the 24th if we chose to do the public hearing at their meeting rather than our own? We wouldn't have to vote on it till our own next meeting, but we could do the public hearing with them. Thursday. On Thursday the 24th, I think is when they meet opposite us in this room. That's the most convenient Is that, she's checking? I think so, I'm, I have, I'm not sure. Possible work, work, but um, I'll pencil that in. If there's a problem, just okay. The ordinances aren't urgent. Um, I don't think they're urgent. They're not. They're not necessarily urgent, but um, so we can. Well, I'll talk to Carolyn and see what her what their desire is. If they want to host us, or whether we want to wait. 
until the next uh, to the next meeting. And I and I haven't checked. I, I think I'm around, but I want to check and see for sure. So. Okay. And it usually they're usually good about like we try and do them at the beginning of the meeting. You know, we don't have to sit through a subdivision proposal waiting for you to talk to about the ordinance proposal. So good. All right. Back to the motion to adjourn. All okay. Great. Thanks. Thank you.